she's also a human too. I think you gotta, you gotta make note of that. Just because she works at such a job like that, I mean, she eats all the stuff we do. She does all the stuff we do. She pirates the same copy of Falling Down. And she always deletes that pirate copy of Falling Down almost immediately after watching. So the Fed that is watching her doesn't get suspicious that she's gonna do something at her place of work. You know, she drinks all the stuff we do like we all do. You know. Sucks too. It doesn't have, any, have anything else to do at work. I mean, scrolling our phone on TikTok honestly helps her like it does for most people. Like me. It usually helps me, but seeing how she really, really traps herself in a conservative echo chamber of people complaining how seeing drag queens as a child is, a child, is harmful to a child's psyche, wherever the hell this Matt Walsh pedophile goes on about. Who fucking knows? And almost always afterwards, she sees a video of a little chi- literal child um, having her entire face hammered into a fucking Hooters employee's asshole. And afterwards having the most traumatized, blank, cold stare while the entire comment section of that video is just old men going, He just found his purpose in life. Arr, arr, arr. How fucking ironic. Speaking of irony, or at least what I think irony is, at the time of writing the song, shoutouts to 3AM me. She met her partner, remember, Madonna Madison? At Atta Burger. Atta, Atta Burger bitches. Stumbling and drunk with her signature gender fluid stained gray t shirt. I'm not even gonna act like this fucking magical moment of love. I that one episode of a workaholics or Adam fights a homeless person, or homeless woman, ends up illegally marrying her. It was a little bit like that, a little bit like that, a little bit like that. If you remember that episode, a little bit like that. <sighs> yeah. As they both kept trying and failed to do pimp slaps on each other, riling on the ground because Madonna Madison tried to steal the tip jar that Burger Bitches subconsciously uh, stole from the White Castle across the street from. Um, that Madonna Madison is now stealing from the burger bitches. XL then subconsciously did an impression of Dave Chappelle doing an impression of Rick James doing... Oh, wait, no, no. Dave Chappelle doing an impression of... Rick James at Dave Dillon's Chappelle show. Well, she hesitated her fist for a bit because she just realized she screamed, Unity, bitch! In the middle of a... I love the restaurant, she wears the, the shittiest, most cringe-worthy impression of Dave Chappelle doing the impression of Virginia James Chappelle shows. Madonna Madison and said, Ch- Chappelle show? So then said, Yeah? Hey, before you hit me again, uh, I'd like to tell you, I wish I had more hands so I could give those titties for some of that. Whoa, cool. Jesus, alright. Now remember what we weren't what we learned class? So use use what we learned about Ohio jokes. For this situation, I right, one, two, three. I right, average riz in Ohio. Yes, yes, very good. Very good everybody. Alright, very good. And, oh, okay, and for anyone who doesn't know what Riz is, I'm not even going to try to teach that because I'm, I'm way too white to be doing some shit like that. Anyways, if I do absolutely negative Riz on this riot from Donna Madison here, this was somehow enough for them to have an absolutely disgusting makeup session on the floor. And yes, I mean disgusting, horrible, repulsive, alright? Even for the uh, loser, lesbian, fetishizing losers, uh, perverts out there. This was weird on behavior. Not even to mention, now he's already had half of their clothes ripped off from their attempts to fend off the rest of the burger bitches staff. Oh uh, god. You know, you did not want to be there. Anyways. In short, they're both gay ass motherfuckers. That's how they met. Spent all day in their underwear, next time I'm not at work, there's no way to measure the stench in that god forbidden apartment. 
You know, let's just get back to burial, bitches. The place is especially empty during Christmas time, I'll tell you that much. People with their families and such, the usual dads and comrades have their, you know, have, to take, have to take a temporary break from oogling at 16 year old breasts to buy a Christmas presents for their families and lament how proud they feel about sending their gay daughter to boarding school because she finally came out at the dinner table at last week's Thanksgiving. <sighs> what a wonderful state Texas is. I love living here. Anyways, this time is mostly being observed by Max at home. Sometimes Maddie, as they make a habit of sneaking into the restaurant to the back door just to spend some time out of the apartment and with Maxel. It's just in bored as fuck, obviously, because what the fuck do you expect, you expect her to do? Well, Maddie tries to get Undertale to work on the cast here. What, what the fuck do you expect them to do? <sighs> Somehow they don't even get a fucking holiday break from this god awful place of rats. House of rats. Literal meaning and metaphorical uh, meaning to, or whatever. But I mean, hey, if someone's got to shoot with those fucking four or thirteen year olds away, right? Right? Eh. Anyways, that's the end of the story for now. I'm sorry. Maddie, well, they've taken up playing the drums in the freezer restaurant. So very, so very nervous person. Maxell, well, she's still working at a place of capitalism, so it still exists. She's, she'll get a paycheck from there, though. But at least she's taking up playing keyboard as a hobby. Are they ever start a I mean, maybe asking, will they ever start a band this duo anytime soon? Probably not. Both of them are too focused on whatever the hell kind of bullshit they're getting up to, to even think of that. And well, I guess this might leave a bit of a sour taste in your mouth. I can tell you, look at the pauses of this. They're in love. They're still playing the marriage still. They'll do the minute they're legally able to. Right on the clock. Maxell still gets to listen to the scary jokes that you CD that Maddie got her for her 17th birthday. It was negative look, right? <sighs> There's this ending thing about the world being negative or whatever. I don't really care. I'm gonna summarize it now or whatever. The world is negative as fuck. I mean, maybe one day we can revive Invader Zim for fucking 20 season contracts, you know? Why not? Why not? Anyways, I've been Vice Swagger. Um, yeah, I've been Vice Swagger being your uh, host for this song that's probably way too long about a dream I just had four hours ago about a non existent Vader Zim episode I thought existed. It does not exist. Bless <coughs> me.